I think that text research facilities are bar none the best I've ever seen. I get to travel to a lot of different universities um, doing different meet conferences and things and get to see their research facilities. And every time I go to another university, I just realize how spoiled I am. Um, you know, I've gotten three degrees from Texas Tech, so I haven't done research at another university. But whenever I go visit uh, my friends at other universities, I do realize that it's so nice to be able to walk into a lab full of brand new equipment and be able to, to use that. And I think it really sets us apart whenever uh, companies and, and other industry groups are looking for someone in a university to do their research. They say, well, we might as well use Texas Tech because they have all the, the facilities and the, and the instruments that we need. I think for the most part, especially here on campus within the Animal Science Building, our facilities are excellent. Um, many of you know that we have a very state-of-the-art meat lab, and additionally upstairs we have a state-of-the-art research facility in all the departments, meat science, muscle biology, food science, um, nutrition. All the professors work up there with graduate students as well as undergraduate research assistants. And our machinery, for the most part, is very up-to-date. Our facilities here on campus are excellent. My thesis research focused on uh, beef juiciness. So it was a project funded by National Cattlemen's Beef Association. I'm doing research over uh, beef quality, mainly beef tenderness, in relation to different freezing methods. Uh, since I'm just a first-year master's student, I haven't, I'm about to start uh, my research this next week, but I've assisted with uh, all kinds of different research projects with other graduate students in relation to uh, beef maturity, in relation to palatability. We do a lot of work with uh, consumer assessment of beef in terms of uh, serving consumers uh, different steaks and then rating them on uh, beef palatability. Currently I'm working with residual feed intake pigs and what we're trying to do is to look at the feed efficiency of these pigs and there are two lines of pigs um, genetically um, selected for feed intake and these pigs are originally from Iowa State University so we're in collaboration with that university and our ultimate goal is to reduce feed cost thus putting more money back in producer and um, farmers pockets. I think definitely not being a land grant and not having reached tier one status yet has negatively affected our research. We have done an excellent job making do with what we have and, and I definitely applaud the research facilities here and the professors that we have here working with that. But I do believe that in the case that we were a tier one institution that we would receive more federal funding, more governmental support, and that would be able to maybe, you know, increase the facilities there here on campus or out at the New Deal farm. We could make a lot of changes. But as far as what we have now, I think we've done a great job making do. It's a great institution and the research here are um, top of the line and there are actual noble research, um, researches 